Shalom, shalom, brother Randy here. Wanted to do a quick update on uh, a couple of things that's going on, but also uh, what we've been able to discover here on the land. Um, a couple of months ago, I posted a video of uh, an incubator that I purchased, um, and uh, you know the process of instead of going to the store and buying uh, baby chicks, uh, you know hatching those uh, chicks out at home. So I'm replenishing my uh, flock of uh, free-range grass-fed uh, chickens now again I don't feed them any feed um, uh, we may put water out for them and they produce nice healthy grass-fed uh, eggs which I don't have to spend a penny for and getting back to the notion of you know uh, replenishing your, your, your chick stock how do you go about effectively doing that uh, uh, you know, you can use an incubator, but it is been my experience. I guess I'll try again next year. Uh, but the incubator simply put, it just did not work. And so when I was uh, doing morning chores uh, here this morning, um, uh, and just looking at uh, all of the chicks, uh, this is what I find here. I find uh, four hatched out uh, baby chicks and the mother uh, sitting right here. Now this is a cinnamon queen, and I can tell by the coat of these chicks that uh, they've been hatched out probably uh, a couple of days, if not uh, a week. And uh, what's been transpiring during the last week or two is heavy terrain, uh, heavy torrential downpours. Uh, you know, it's been very hot, been very muggy, but you know, a lot of rain. And in spite of all of those conditions and not being set up at all, uh, this chicken was able to, uh, this hen was able to lay some eggs, uh, keep those eggs in an environment that was conducive to uh, the uh, chicks being able to be hatched within the 22 day cycle. So uh, this is what we're dealing with here, the end result of that. Now the only dilemma I'm having is whether I should take the chicks and put them in the environment or just let it be uh let her do her motherly thing uh and raise the chicks because after all they have uh been surviving this long and if you see uh you know uh, uh the, the coat on them is uh very healthy uh they seem to be very healthy so uh let me know what you think uh, uh, should I take them or should I just uh, let them be and just let nature take its course? Because after all, uh, nature's uh, uh, done a uh, damn uh, better job at uh, uh, hatching out some, some chicks than uh, technology has. Shalom.